Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite sets from the April release from Altenew, and it is a study in watercolor. This set caught my eye because I immediately thought of so many ways that I can use this stamp set. And you can see just a few of them here inside the pamphlet that you get inside the stamp set. But this is a solid stamp stamp set. So all of the images are solid images. And that really leaves a lot to the imagination and a lot of versatility that can be done. So I'm going to show you a bunch of ways today that you can use your solid stamps and especially this stamp set to make really amazing individual cards. And each of them really only took a few minutes each. So I'm really excited to share that with you today. The first one I'm going to do is the most basic of my techniques. I love this idea for this type of card because it has a lot of interest in the card and it really doesn't take any time at all. So I'm using a super light ink and this is Rose Quartz by Altenew and I'm just stamping one of the stamp sets or I'm sorry one of the stamp images here from the stamp set and then the great thing also about this set is that it comes with add-ons so you can add little pieces a leaf or a flower here or there and you can build this great image with just a couple of stamps. So I'm going to stamp those both in rose quartz and then I'm going to move on to what's going to be my focal image and that's just going to be another image from the stamp set but I'm going to stamp this directly over that rose quartz in the color Cosmic Berry. Now this is in the same set. I bought the set of four Altenew inks, the mini cubes, and it's the darkest color. So when I stamp that on there, and I will stamp it twice with my Misty just to get a really nice bold impression, it almost looks like a shadow, the rose quartz is a shadow behind that cosmic berry leaf and floral image. And I just really love how that gives a lot of dimension and interest to the card and it really only took me just a couple minutes to stamp. So here is the final card. I ended up using the Word Die Hope from the Hope stamp set which is linked in the description as well and the sentiment, you know how much I love you. And I just added that there. I did add a little bit of glossy accents to the word dye and how I got it to be the same exact color is that I just went pad to paper. So I used my Cosmic Berry ink pad or mini ink cube and just smushed that directly onto some white cardstock and then cut out my word dye from that portion. And it comes out perfect every time. And now I have a coordinating color uh, word dye and that's perfect. So moving right along, I've got the new Summer Garden paper pack. Now this has 24 pieces of pattern paper in it and there are 12 individual patterns or images on these papers. I love all of the images, but today I'm going to be using this watercolor wash piece of pattern paper. I love that the really detailed and textured look is in the watercolor, or I'm sorry, in the pattern paper. It looks like watercolor paper. And so I really love using watercolor pattern paper, especially for my cards, because it just cuts that a technique or it cuts that step out for me and it looks beautiful. So why not let yourself have a little bit of rest there and let the paper pack take care of that for you. So as you can see, I cut this down to an A2 sized card front and then I cut out um, a circle using just an infinity circle die. And what I'm going to do is put that A2 sized card front to the side and use just the circle die for my card this time. And I'm going to be embossing with these images. Now it's really great to emboss with these really solid images because you get a really cool shine with it. Sometimes when we're embossing things like uh, sentiments, you get a bit of a shine, but it's such a small piece that you've embossed that you can't fully appreciate the shimmer and the shine and the glitz and glamour. So with these types of images, you really get that fun shine and shimmer. So I'm just going to go ahead and again, I get to add a little bit more to it if I want to, because the set makes it really easy, but this is what I ended up doing here for my card. I placed it on a piece of vellum that I've just cut out 
uh, with the neck size infinity die for the circle set that I have. And then I used the word die miss you. I did this in a white cardstock and then right behind it, I have a gold metallic cardstock just offset a tiny bit, just to give a little bit more of that shine. And then I used wishing you were here from the encouragement stamp set from Alt new as well. And I cut this down to four and a quarter. I'm sorry. I cut the card front down to four by four and a quarter. And then the base was four and a quarter by four and a half. So now I'm going to move on and just do some really simple stamping. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the entire perimeter of this card front. This card front is four and a quarter. I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter, which is just slightly smaller than an A2 size card. And I'm using all of the oranges that I got in this stamp. I'm sorry, in this ink set. So these are the mini cubes and I have sun kissed orange cream, autumn blaze and fire brick. And I'm just going to be using these at random times all around the perimeter of the card. And I just like the use of all of the colors because it gives a nice uh, dimension and interest again to the card. I don't worry too much about the colors not blending because I really want that fun and bright look. And I realize as I'm stamping this that this looks a bit like a fall card. So I think I'm going to keep this uh, to the side for a while, but I do end up using the sentiment Hello Sunshine from the set Hello Sunshine from Altenew because I think that it goes really well with these colors. I also use the fine frames die on top of a smaller piece of white cardstock just to frame that sentiment and then a piece of vellum cut to just a slightly a slight bit larger than that piece of white cardstock. I used the stamps as a border in this instance, and I could have stamped all of this on the inside, but I really liked that dimension that I got by using, or I'm sorry, by adhering all of these pieces of cardstock with foam tape. The next technique I am showing today is another really simple one. I'm going to be using the largest image from the stamp set and placing it in my mini Misty onto a piece, a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half white cardstock. Now I'm going to be using a few different uh, colors of ink here and you can use any colors that you like. These are just the ones that I find go well together. I'm using Desert Night, Deep Iris, and Coral Berry. And you'll see here I'm just going to go in with my first color. I'm using Desert Night. And then I'm going to stop at just any point that I choose and go in with Deep Iris. And I'm going to stamp right over that border or the line that I stopped with Desert Night. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Coral Berry on the very bottom. And again, just going right over that borderline where I stopped with Deep Iris. Now I go back into this twice to stamp it, but you'll see I get this really beautiful ombre effect or just tri-color effect. And then I did add a little bit of the shadow as well with a soft lilac ink. And I just added that with a couple of the extra stamp images in the set as well. I add Missing You, which is an Alta New Sentiment, right over the top of my image. And for that vellum behind there, I just went ahead with V17, which is a Copic marker, and I colored the vellum in, and that way I have a custom colored piece of vellum that matches perfectly with the rest of my card. For my final card today or final technique today, I'm going to be using a faux watercoloring technique. I'm using just a standard piece of white cardstock for this. I will be using a little bit of water, but I find that the white cardstock holds up pretty well to this type of technique and the water. Um, and also it gives a lot more vibrancy to these colors. So I'm going to go ahead and line these up using my Misty. I will ink it up and then give a few spritzes uh, with my Distress Sprayer. And you'll see once I go ahead and close the door, I get this really cool watercolor look. These images, especially from this set, give a really beautiful look. Um, and I do use my heat gun just to speed up the drying process. I don't want too much warping, even though I'm bound to get just a bit. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use two different kinds of inks or two different colors of inks actually here on the same stamp. And it's just the same basic technique, except I'm using two colors and I'm a little torn about how this card came out. I actually ended up trimming uh, the wrong spot when I went ahead and trimmed this down, but I put it on top of a, the mermaid scales, um, debossing plate and then I used some Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Moonstone over the entire image and this gives a really fun shimmery look to the image itself. I went ahead and added thank you from Label Love from Altenew and then I just added that to a small strip of this gold metallic cardstock just to give a little bit more shine. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and gotten a few ideas that you may be able to use with this set or any solid stamp or solid image stamp set that you may already own. As always, links to all the products are in the description, as well as the link to my coordinating blog post, which is a part of the April release for Alt New and the blog hop. There's lots of prizes to be won, so make sure you head over there and thank you again for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Bye.